I swear, high low is just um fucking shit show, dude. Shit show. Into battle. Like people will literally just do anything for LP. Dead Jax. Kind of go grass for Jax, dude. This will be a slaughter. Like, the reason you took grasp against Jax before was so that you can absolutely like bully and beat the shit out of him. The season, the, like this season, is so different than previous seasons for Trend because Trendmer is actually weaker early on until you get those points in Q to make up for the damage you lost from the crit damage reduction. It's it, it was actually such a big nerf. A lot of people just forget about that shit, man. But like, actually, it, it's it's such a big change for. Did he not use Counter Strike at all until right then? Follow my blade. I think this should push back to me. I, I didn't remember if he had used Counter-Strike already, so I, I went for it. I ended up wasting my flash, but I guess he missed his on last CS. He, he's just going to get his flash like a minute before mine. So I just have to remember that. An ally has been slain. So long. Hey, Steve O, thanks for the 50 month reset, man. Big 5 0. Thanks, dude. Oh, no. Um, okay, so basically, in that Stridebreaker video, Stridebreaker was absolutely so broken. That if it was released in that state, literally every champion would build that item because it was so broken. I don't know how Riot could possibly release something that broken. Because they have an internal testing team. I don't know. 
Yo, Grims, yo. Hey, thanks to Church Prime. I don't know how they release something so broken on PB where they have to have, uh, like, us test it. An enemy has been slain. To show that it's broken when they have an internal testing. Anyway. Uh, moving on past that. Uh, they nerfed it really hard on PB. They took it down from 150% total AD to 100%. They might have did something else to it too, but like that by itself means we'll probably go crack for damage. I'm getting a very easy time with laning phase because of the Karthus pressure. Um, right now I have to wait until my flash is back up before I go for an all-in on Jax. The reason I'm not building boots, by the way, is that if he wanted to, he could absolutely, um, kite me with Phase Rush. I think Phase Rush is only gonna be good on Jax. Like, once he has enough damage. Where he didn't need the Conquer, right? But, like, shit, Conquer Jax is... Pretty nuts. Got rid of his bone plating. So my lethal tempo's gone right now, it's just, so it's a great time. Plus Jack says his passive stack up, right? Great time for him to go all in on me. I'm gonna keep it right here. So I bait him to using his Counter-Strike just by spinning into him like a little bit there. But not like over committing. This guy might be um, an Emax. As you wish. I am your Nightmare. I thought I saw him in, th in there. Apparently, I saw him in the back of that with my W. I am your worst nightmare. So basically, I E flash autoed with the Magnite on Jax just so that Karthus could finish him off instantly. Uh, it kind of sucked Viego's there, but the Katarina's there to clean up. So, end up being fine. So as soon as Karthus pinged, then I knew we we're on the same page, so I went in. An enemy has been slain. Double kill. Jax just ain't the same without Conqueror, man. That's all I gotta say.
Alright, well. <coughs> Dude, I swear. In, like, the very close matchups. Like, going against Jax. Having the Karthus ulti. Like, added into the 1v1. Just makes it so Tringmer favored. Even if the Karthus never ganked top. And we were just like perfectly even. Having the Karthus alt on top of my like true damage of the night, just like it's too much for Jax. And he can never look to like all in me unless he has uh, jungle pressure. Uh, really miss that minion? Your team has destroyed a turret. This game's a stomp, dude. Rampage. Look how much damage I just did. With one combo. One one auto spin. Over half his HP. If I do that to him again, Karthus ulti, he dies. That felt illegal, did Karthus, I, I promise you, is just, it's very, very strong with Trend, for, for that reason. The only bad part about having a Karthus jungle is if they have, like, a very strong, like, early game jungler, like, Nidalee, and then they have a very strong early game top laner, like, Renekton, and then it's like, damn, dude, I have a Karthus jungle, like, I can't even play the game. So it could go but I have no idea why I passed top lane. Holy shit, this this was so bad. I like auto path top lane instead of having bot. I am your word. Now I just essentially gave all this. First game of the day struggles, man. I didn't spin at the right angle that he did, so I couldn't get that damage. This will be a slaughter. Well, I, I was talking about the thing. I got distracted.
I flashed him to auto and couldn't auto him because he wasn't revealed instantly. That was such bullshit. That was such bullshit, dude. Like, he shouldn't have even, like, lived long enough to get that ulti off. Yeah, you know how, like, sometimes you'll walk into a bush where there's, like, a pink word or something, and the pink word will take, like, a second and a half to show? Or, like, you spin over a wall, or, like, y you go to a place where, like, it was in stealth before? And the, the like, the, say, like, the Krox camp doesn't show instantly? I think that's what happened there with Diego's camo. I guess we won the game. I am your worst nightmare. An enemy has been slain. Force tonight. Hey, Alex Tamp. Hey, thanks for Twitch Prime, man. Oh, yeah, we could just do Baron because we have, like, Trin MacArthur's Kaisa. Or we can go crazy. Legendary. I don't know why they're not surrendering, it's a little bit weird. Although I just hit like 20 minutes, so. Like our team is all like super late game too, and all so snowballing. Oh yeah, they haven't they haven't had um they haven't gotten a single turret this game. It's 29 oh and we're all champs at scale and snowball really hard. Rampage. Legendary. A summoner has disconnected. A summoner has disconnected. I played a lot of A Rams for 
first game? 